storm. <laughs> South Surrey community note here. Ocean Park Days happens on Saturday, June 20th. The Starbucks Celebrity Dunk Tank will be there raising money for the Heart and Stroke Foundation. Location, 128th Street and 16th Avenue from noon to 4. That's Saturday. Lots of family fun. Let's go to the airport. 22 degrees. We got a uh, beautiful sky out there. We got 22 as our high, 29 the record. 921, a beautiful sunset. Even though uh, it was a late rally this afternoon, wasn't enough to dig the day out of a two-shirt rating on the polyester index, although I know the barbecues are firing up right now. 23 degrees to Nanaimo, 19 Port Alberni, usually the hot spot. 22 in Abbotsford, Pitt Meadows, Agassiz, 23 in the Canyon, 22 in the North, mostly cloudy Fort Nelson today. It was had some sunny breaks in Port St. John and Prince George, a cloudy day in Prince Rupert, mostly cloudy in Kamloops and Cranbrook, and it was a sunny day in Kelowna, and just uh, unstable weather for the next... Uh, uh, three or four days around these parts. We're going to see some more thunder shower activity in the interior. We'll get to that as we go through our regions. 22 degrees, Peace River country, beautiful day. Not a bad little day for Whitehorse, Southern Lakes. More cloud in the afternoon than the morning. North coast, just clouds and showers and a high of 13. Caribou, central interior, watch for some thunder shower activity as you hit 18 in the afternoon. The uh, Kootenai country, just a cloudy, showery day with fog starting off the day in the morning. UV rating is high in the Okanagan. You too could see some thunder showers, 25 degrees afternoon. Whistler Village, clouds and scattered showers getting up to 17 degrees. The south coast, looking at not a bad day, mostly cloudy. We'll get some sunny breaks, but then in the evening, we could see some showers creep into the picture. There's the showers there. That'll be in the evening. Uh, Saturday, we dry out just a little bit. Sunday, we could see some scattered showers return. And then Monday, we back it off to uh, just a cloudy day and a high of 19. Uh, as you can see, it's just really unsettled for the next little while. And the rest of the country looks like this. Calgary, mix of sun and cloud, 21 degrees. We've got a mix for Saskatoon, a showery day in Winnipeg, mostly cloudy in Thunder Bay. We've got uh, clouds for Toronto. It's really wet in Montreal, but look at the Maritimes. Good grief. 28 degrees in Fredericton, 25 in Halifax. PEI with 26 degrees, sunny skies. And a gorgeous day, St. John's, 22 degrees. Time to open the weather window, and tonight we take a look at a chapter in our history book. How about that? The Golden Ears Bridge is in operation, as you know. Time to say goodbye to the hard-working Albion Ferry. Served us well over the years. Thanks to Dale Miller for sending us this shot. If you have a favorite photo of our great province, we have some addresses for you. Go to our website, globaltvbc.com. Click on the weather window icon. We're sure to get it. And then tomorrow, we'll uh, pick a weekly winner and award some nifty global prizes along with that coveted global ballpoint pen. We'll leave you on the old Albion Ferry tonight, Chris. As the sun sets on it. No All right. Kidding. Thanks very much, Wayne. Here's Squire with a look ahead to sports. Dispatches from Sweden. Mm. Apparently the Sedins are making offers. Rain at the U.S. Open. And one of the guys will be on the Rumble at the Rock card tomorrow night. Quite a oh. story. Look forward to that. Okay. Thanks, Squire. Mike McArdle is also still ahead tonight. Well, this is 12th Avenue, right at Maple, and you may not be into art, but at the end of the news hour, how about a street-side gallery that'll <laughs> make you happy <laughs> and probably confuse you. Closed captioning of this program is brought to you by Dominion Lending Centers. It's time the banks and credit unions compete for your mortgage business. together never looks so good. Introducing the all-new spacious Elantra Touring. Smart is in. We started with a simple almond. Added pecans, peanuts, and a hint of sweetness. The result? A truly extraordinary nut snack. True North. This Saturday at Rona, choose any product in the store and give yourself 15% savings. 15% off anything you like. It's your choice. Saturday only, only at Rona. Rona, doing it right. At playnow.com, you can play your favorite lottery games like Lotto 649, eBingo, 
Eat Pacific Hold'em, and interactive games. They're easy to learn. There are no pop-up ads. And you can play them anytime, anywhere. Playnow.com. Try it today. They're coming. 10,000 law enforcement officers and firefighters from around the world to compete in over 60 sports events at 50 sites across the Lower Mainland. Get involved. July 31st to August 9th. To volunteer, visit 2009wpfg.ca. Proudly supported by Global BC. You want a little more zing, you know, a little more bada bing. You order it up, you say, yeah, okay, I have wings on top of the pizza. I mean, we're all, I'm not crazy. I'm not suggesting that you don't order a pizza. Come on. They bring them, you eat them, freak out. You know, okay, I, I challenge Panago to go out and make me a pizza that I won't like. Like they've gotten veggie. I mean, I'm not a yoga guy. I need meat on my pizza, but you know, there's no meat and I'd still eat it because it's Panago and everything they touch turns to gold. So what are you going to do? This financial update is brought to you by BCCGAs. We see more than numbers. We see the bigger picture and the on. Squires back with sports. Last time we had dispatches from Sweden, it was involving Sundin. Now it's a little different. Yeah, you're right. Close. Sedines, not <laughs> Sundin this time. I don't know what's going to happen with Sundin. He's been rather quiet. Mm -hmm. uh, the Sedines, mind you, will be free agents on July 1st. So will Sundin, for that matter. That's if the Canucks don't re-sign the Twins before then. Today, there was a report from Sweden that the Sedines made the Canucks an offer sign them for 12 years at an average of five and a quarter million per season. The Canucks are rumored to have said, no thanks. And if it's all true, it's not surprising they said that since the Sedins would be 40 when the contract ends. Vancouver would rather pay a bit more for a contract that's not as long. But if they want a short-term deal, they're going to have to pay the Sedins close to seven million per season. So far, we're hearing they're talking about six. NHL awards tonight down in Vegas. Well, Ryan Kessler was up for an award to Selkie. He didn't win, no surprise. Alex Ovechkin, MVP. He also won the Players MVP, the Pearson Award. Zdeno Chera named top defenseman. There you see Kim Thomas. Steve Mason, the goalie from Columbus, the rookie of the year. All right, round one, 109th U.S. Open. Umbrellas out. Tiger Woods off the fairway into the jungle. By the hospitality tent. Still got a par out of that, though. He's one of the early starters. He probably wishes he wasn't one of the early starters. This guy, Andrew Parr, London, Ontario guy, had a stroke a couple of years ago because he has a heart defect. Has come back from that. That's a setup for a birdie on the first hole. And he has the lead, although half the field didn't even get to the golf course. That included Nick Taylor of Abbotsford. He didn't get on the course today. But Andrew Parr can go to sleep tonight knowing he is, right now, one of the leaders at the U.S. Open. DC Lions open up the exhibition season last night. Next Tuesday, they're home against Edmonton, final exhibition game. They lost, but uh, Emmanuel Arsenault had six catches and a touchdown there off the pass from Zach Champion. Here's an interesting play. Jabari Arthur scores a touchdown. The Lions are doing some excellent tackling on themselves. There was one there, and here's another one. They can hit the guys in the other uniforms like that. I predict a good season. Calgary won at 37-30. Off to the Confederations Cup. Soccer in South Africa. Italy and Egypt. Scoreless. End of the first half or near the end of the first half. Mohamed Hamas won nothing for Egypt over Italy. Second half. Essem Al-Hadari is the hero for the Egyptian. Look at the saves off the Italians. Point blank there. And another one coming up. Italy couldn't beat them. Egypt with the upset, one nothing over the Italians. The earlier game had Brazil against the Americans. This did not go well for Bob Bradley in the U.S. It's already one nothing for Brazil. It's a two-on-one break. It's Ramirez, Robinho, back of the net. Two nothing. With the thumb sucking or the that's a my I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Mike on with the goal. Three nothing. Brazil's thirteen and one all time. 
against the U.S. Oh, Vancouver Whitecaps are watching this game really, really close, and it's not gone well. Toronto FC has to win this by four for the Whitecaps not to win the Neutral Light Canadian Championship. They're now up 5-1 on Montreal in the second half. If that holds, Toronto wins. Tomorrow night at the River Rock Hotel and Casino in Richmond, there will be six boxing matches starting at 7.30. The final of the six will be for the Light Heavyweight Championship of Canada between Abdullah Ramadan of Toronto and Richmond's Junior Moore, who is making a comeback from a life that was going sideways. <laughs> Junior Moore is a boxer, one of Canada's best light heavyweights. But he has a day job. It's working at a baby supply store where people buy 